Aber jetzt? Eva Kotiakova is a artist uh, living in Czech Republic in Prague and uh, we are doing the second show with her here in Berlin. Uh, we did we have also a gallery in Karlsruhe where we did one show with her together. And um, she is uh, she's grown up in the time when uh, the change of society uh, with the end of the socialist time in uh, in the Czech Republic, uh, that time Czechoslovakian Republic happened, and uh, I think this took a big influence onto her artistic career and onto what she's doing. We've seen the work first time through another artist we work with, which is Jan Manchuska, and uh, he introduced us to her in uh, maybe it's six years, seven years ago, and we've seen an exhibition of hers in Prague, and we liked it immediately, and so we started working with her. So basically the exhibition is called They Are Coming and it's a, it's a reference to uh, a synthesis, um, um, a short performance piece from the 1915 by, by Marinetti, a futuristic piece, which is um, based on, on, on the concept or script uh, that uh, they are basically just objects uh, which are taking the role of, of uh, the main actors. Uh, and in, in this case, the whole exhibition, uh, that's why the, the, the title somehow inspired this, uh, is um, uh, very much about nonverbal communication or communication through signs, through pantomima, through really all kinds of uh, alternative ways how to express yourself but without uh, the use of words or, or verbal expressions. And uh, there are two uh, works in the installation which are uh, performance-based. Uh, there is one um, piece which, which uh, is a black curtain with, with several cutted holes in it. And then there are four per performers who are asked to uh, approach the curtain from the backside and to stick their arms or eyes or, or some other uh, segments of their bodies through the cat. So then basically what you see, because the piece is perceived from the outside of the gallery space, is a kind of distorted body image or a kind of fragmented body which is, uh, which is spread all over the kind of black theatrical background. And then there is another piece uh, which is a, um, a staircase which serves as, again a, as a kind of temporary platform for performance to happen. Uh, and in this case it's two performers who um, repeatedly uh, 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 keep falling down the stairs in very different manners, uh, either very expressively in slow motion or quite rapidly. Others, their bodies so nervously. That one can. And I, I, there is one video work which is using actually this kind of uh, very classical, uh, quite simple uh, theatrical method of black theatre where actors are, are hiding underneath the black velvet uh, clothes and then just some body parts are revealed and then these are combined or, or, or collaged together, in, 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 uh, together with some uh, drawn lines or, or images or, or geometrical shapes or objects and, and so on. So I would say the black theater technique somehow makes for me possible to do this kind of like, like living collage or something that you can connect living elements, the performers together with some, for example, a bigger scale drawing which is then moving in the space. kind of central installation in the first space. It's a kind of database or archive of cutted wooden shapes, silhouettes, which again can be somehow related to, to the body or they can be used by participants for, for a potential performance or hypothetic performance. But uh, I guess what, what connects them is also this idea or technique of black theater. So that's why also the whole uh, atmosphere of the, of the show is this kind of black and white or grayish kind of tones uh, spread both on the walls, which are black painted or gray painted, or, or also in the works, which are also black and white photographs or really old vintage collages, which are or photographs which are then recreated into collages.